that what that doctor said to me and what mm-hmm. the that school's admissions person said to me, they're wrong. Like they're I got wrong. into the number seven PA program in the country mm-hmm. and they told me I was not smart enough and I got into a great program. No interviews, no sure. well, I did get something. I got a lot of rejections. Yeah. That's what I got. <laughs> a lot. I graduated with the 2.74 science GPA and a 2.98 cumulative GPA. Whoa. Because I just, I messed up a lot because of how my academics were structured. They just, I didn't have a good structure with my academics. And and being first gen, like my parents didn't know Mm -hmm. to tell me like, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. I was just kind of, they didn't know. Instead of doing a master's, I did like my own post back. And my GPA wasn't good. My personal statement, I didn't know how to write a good personal statement. I had people telling me who never even went to college how to write my personal statement. I look back years later when like what she suggested I should submit and I was like oh that's why I didn't get in How would that's she why know? I didn't get in <laughs> like, it was bad it was so bad yeah. helping others is a calling it's not a job so we're gonna ask Brianna about why she shows the physician assistant profession uh her journey her stats her advice to PA students and PA school applicants so without further ado Brianna why did you choose the PA profession I chose the PA profession because I felt like this was a profession that fit me as a person and it fit my personality. So when I, I was probably a sophomore in college and I was working at my dad's restaurant and I fell and I had this big work accident and I was bleeding everywhere. And I encountered my first physician assistant at an urgent care. And she like showed me so much compassion and she showed me so much. She just, looked like she loved her job. And I was like, hmm, I'm curious to know what she does and you know why she loved her job so much because I didn't really, I didn't know about the PA career at all. All I really knew was doctors and nurses. And I was like, that's, that's all I knew. That's all that my parents told me about. That's all that they really talked about in school. So I was curious to know like, what does she do? And you know, why does she love her job so much? Like she loved it. So I went to Winthrop University and we had, to do seminars as a biology major. And during these seminars, they brought in different professions. They brought in like pharmacists, they brought in nurses, doctors, and they brought in a PA one day. And this PA talked about his career and he was like telling us all about the career. And I was so intrigued about everything that he did. I went to a college that wasn't like meant for um, like science majors specifically, but I was a biology um, major. But it was more so geared towards like education, like teachers and like training teachers and stuff like that. So they didn't really have all the resources available as like another school who was like more into like um, doing the medical stuff and just having like pre-med and pre-PA. They didn't really talk about that. They talked about more education. So when this PA came in, I was like, oh, okay, I'm very interested in this. Did my own research. I was like, okay, this fits me. And then also... I shadowed, I shadowed a uh, um, physical therapist, I shadowed nurses, I shadowed doctors, I shadowed PAs, and 